G'day everyone, it's me Mark Hunt again and today I'm back to give you 22 Australian slang words you'll definitely hear from the average Aussie. The first one we have is Yui. Now a Yui is a U-turn, you know, the thing you do in your car when you're going the wrong way. Say you've driven past the address you want to, the local bottle you're on the wrong side of the road, so what you gotta do is you gotta chuck a sick Yui and come back round to it. A hissy fit's like a tantrum, they're both interchangeable words, but hissy fit is usually reserved for adults who behave like children. A sack whack is getting hit in the nuts. A dunny is a shitter. A shitter is a thunderbox. A thunderbox is a toilet. Fiery is not a way to describe Miss Hansen's hair, but it is a firefighter. Spot on means you've done it right, hit the nail on the head, so to speak. A dirt hole is a polite way of saying asshole. Now, the word chips in Australia can either mean fried chips or bag chips. It all depends on the context that you're using to know which one it is. Having a go is pretty obvious. It means giving something a try. A ruckus is a cacophony or a kafafaluff. Now, if you're turtle heading, it means you're about to shit your dax, so I'll let you figure that one out. Stuff it is a very polite way of saying fuck it. A fair fit of the shits is a phrase simply meaning angered frustration. Probably something your mum would say if she walked into your room after asking you to clean it and it was still dirty. You put her in a fair fit of the shits. Being a cat on a hot tin roof means getting yourself stuck in a situation and madly rushing around trying to get yourself out of it while also letting everyone else around you know that you're in the shit. Being chuffed means being happy. Also means the same thing as chipper. Passion fingers is a way you describe someone who fucks everything they touch. And I don't mean in a sexual manner, although it could be used that way. I mean someone who picks up something and it instantly breaks. They have passion fingers. Being miffed is the opposite of being chuffed. It means you're pissed off. A bludger is a lazy bugger who wastes everyone's time and gets nothing achieved. Think of someone at your workplace who doesn't do anything but still gets paid. That's what a bludger is. A long drop is an outdoors dunny because it's literally just a hole in the ground where the poo takes a long drop right down to the bottom. But calling something in Australia the hills hoist is calling it the best. It's the ridgy ditch duck nuts fair dinkum best. A duffer is an idiot. And finally, to shit your gambies means to react to something with great excitement. For example, you're about to shit your gambies when I tell you this. Don't know if you blokes and sheilas know, but the Herm channel at 5,000 subscribers will be starting a new series and it's going to be called Off the Beaten Track with Mark Hunt. I'm looking very forward to it. Herm has let me borrow his car. We're gonna go around Australia. We're gonna check out some stuff, do some four wheel driving. It's gonna be great. It's an outdoor series. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna learn a lot and I'm gonna to get to show off my expertise as an Aussie outdoorsman. So there's 22 slang words you should know before you come to Australia and that you'll definitely hear from the average Aussie. I'll see you all in the next video on this channel. Thank you very much for watching Bikes and Sheilas. I'll catch you next time. Hooroo.